Hey everybody, today I am going to go over how to get the FortiClient endpoint software. Uh, they re recently released version uh, 6.0 with a lot of new features, so I'm about to install it and test it out. Uh, so to start off with, you're just going to go to FortiClient.com. Uh, if you're interested in all of the uh, marketing material, there's a lot of good stuff on here. Uh, they just got done getting rated by NSS Labs for 2018. That's really good. They have a lot of expanded Linux stuff and software inventory management. So um, you can read through this stuff on the fortaclient.com. Gives you a bunch of details on the benefits of it. Uh, whenever you're ready to download it, just go over here to this right side, click download. Uh, what we're gonna do is get the fortaclient 6.0 for Windows. Open that up. If you're interested in the technical specifications, there is a tech document that will break down side by side what the difference is between the regular endpoint license. Uh, by default, you get 10 of them with every firewall and the enterprise management server licenses. Um, it also gives you feature visibility between all the different versions. And one of the things that I really like is that the Linux uh, functionality has really expanded. Really, the only thing that it had was telemetry on the 5.6 version. There's a data sheet. Ooh. All right. So this tells you how everything integrates, a lot of the functionality. This picture right here is from the EMS server benefits. Anti-exploits, really, really good. Hmm. And there's the technical specifications for the operating systems, authentication methods, connection options, and then the EMS servers, uh, you know, CPU, RAM requirements. We're going to go ahead and agree to the license, click next. I'm going to install all of the modules on this. I guess uh, my corporation has antivirus, so let me swap that out. So we're going to head and let this run. And then we're going to test out the new features. It looks like we got a handy dandy new administrator guide too. That will be helpful. It's done uh, installing. It's going to update all the signatures for the web filtering databases, the antivirus databases, and anything else that you installed. Then it starts its vulnerability scan. Oh wow, this is a different interface. Got pictures on here. Web security, malware protection, remote access. This is really the key one. Um, so at my house I have an SSL VPN. So we're gonna call this home VPN. Uh, remote gateway is connollyhouse.fortadns.com. You can always select a different port, whatever port you use for your SSL VPN, that's what you want. Client certificate. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so we'll go with none. I do not have a third party cert. 
on my firewall at home, so I'm going to put not worn. Let's see how this looks when we connect. Hmm. Maybe I forgot to set up a VPN at my house. Let's see what the configuration looks like. SSL VPN settings. Oh, we don't have any policies. That's why. Okay, so we're listening on 10443. Default certificate. Set the full access. So it looks like we just need to get some policies established, maybe. Um, so let's do to the WAN. And Access so that group right there is probably why it didn't work. I thought a policy to authenticate the group, I don't think that it would be able to work. So let's put web filtering DNS. Default, I believe. Yep, monitor all applications. Click OK. Yep, I know it's a default certificate. All right, so let's try this again. I right, went through that time. All right. So now I'm connected to my home network. So I should see. My connection and the topology. Maybe I gotta let's go to google.com. All right, I can get through Google. All right, there we go. SSL VPN interface. I don't have telemetry going right now, so let's go. Here is my SSL VPN interface. Hmm. That's interesting. Anyway, I don't have any vulnerabilities on here. Uh, web security is pretty moderate by default. 75 web content. Malware protection. That's so sad. Stand, sandbox details. I don't know. Does my WAN have telemetry enabled? No. So let's turn on telemetry. We don't need radius.
by the IP address and see if that works. There we go. No updates. Let's see. So we can back up our system settings. That's interesting. Without even without an EMS. That's nice. Login. Single sign on mobility agent. So it seems pretty straightforward. Oh, you can even, oh, interesting. So we got operating system details. We can also get LinkedIn details. Now that is definitely something you don't see from endpoint management on a regular basis. So now I got my LinkedIn profile up there. What does user input give you? Oh, you can take a webcam, webcam picture or just browse for one. We'll stick with LinkedIn. I like getting my information from LinkedIn. So now let's go back to our security fabric. So it has my name. Looks like I'm going to need to leave it there for now. So that is the basic setup for how to get your Forta client going. Um, there's a lot of interesting new features that I'm going to have to play around with. Definitely a, a refresh on the interface. Um, I like that it connects to your various social accounts, even the operating system, or if you want to use SaaS, Salesforce is in here as well. Uh, the notifications. I like that they stripped out the malware protection. This is really straightforward. Vulnerability scans, is the, the color coding uh, blocks. I really like the UI of this a lot better. Um, and then it's going to give you notifications too. All the standard, you know, logging VPN options that we're used to. Um, there's a diagnostic tool. We'll have to check that out as well. Um, anyway, I'm my initial impressions, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, ooh, we got the knowledge base and technical documentation. So I'm going to have to dig into this uh, yeah, the administrative guide and see what I can figure out. But I am I'm, I'm impressed. Have a good day, everybody.